Welcome back. I'm Trisha. This morning we have Elisa Miracle, who is a professional clinical dietitian, and he's passionate about making a difference, gradually integrating the knowledge of the importance of healthy, sustainable dietary patterns to every individual and home. Now, he will be talking to us this morning about how to get rid of belly fat. Now, with Christmas and New Year, we definitely want to know how we can get rid of that. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people saying, you know what, this in this conversation, we're here for it. Okay. So tell us, how can we um, get rid of belly fat? Um, it's, it's really not easy. That's one of the most stubborn kind of fats to get rid of. Hmm. There are actually two types of fat that are um, embedded in the abdominal region. Okay. There's a the subcutaneous fat and there's a the visceral fat. The okay. subcutaneous fat is the one that is just beneath your skin. skin. So okay. if you just pinch your belly like this, that one, yeah, that's the subcutaneous fat. Then the visceral fat are the ones that are wrapped around the organs, the internal organs, like the liver, the kidneys, and all. This one, the major function is to help protect the organ. Okay. They act as a cushion. Oh, okay. Yeah, between, uh, when they are so much around the organ, that's when there's a problem. problem. Yes, so it's the sub subcutaneous fat and the visceral fat. So the most dangerous one is the visceral fat. But mm -hmm. when you see the where when you see people with um, protruded stomachs, Tummy. it's mostly um, subcutaneous fat. fat. Okay, but so even at that, the visceral fat is still be below. So the the way to get rid of it is uh, it's mostly diet and exercise. Okay. Mostly diet and exercise. But it's act like I said before, it's actually a very stubborn kind of fat. Hmm. So you can't just do. Um, a, a fast track about it. You have yeah. to do a continuous and consistent thing about it. So okay. mostly it's your diet and exercise. Your exercise, you have to tackle it very, very well with exercise. So okay. you have to do different types of exercise. That would be that would be taken care of by a physiotherapist. But more of aerobics actually. Oh, okay. But you have to do um um check your take in taking pointers as your diet and your lifestyle. Because yeah. the thing is that so many people don't really know um, the amount of calories they're supposed to, to take, take in. in. Yes, yes. Calories, are, calories are the amount of energy you're supposed to take yeah. in per time, per, per time. day, yeah. and everything. So it's about what you take in. It's The body is just like um, uh, a system, a computer system, garbage mm -hmm. in, garbage out. Got so whatever yes. you take in is whatever energy, amount of energy you're supposed to give out. So if you're taking um, per day, you're taking... Calories of like 1,200, you're supposed mm -hmm. to give out 1,200. So you can't yes. be sedentary and be taking 1,200 kilocalories. Very true. And all. Then there's something that is, is, a, is a trend. Yes. Is a trend. Uh, the, the late night eating. Hmm. Uh, yeah. People think um, eating late, late at night would help your tummy, make your tummy protein. No, no, no. no. Oh, if, it doesn't? Yeah, yeah. It's, it isn't true. Okay. It isn't true. It's totally very, very wrong. I know some people want to shoot me now, but it's actually not <laughs> true. And the thing, the thing there is, like I said before, it's more of garbage in, garbage, garbage out. Up, okay. So if you know the amount of calories you're supposed to take per day, mm -hmm. that would, that's the work of a dietitian, actually. They help yeah. you do the, cal the calculation the according calories. to your height, your weight, and mm -hmm. your, your activity level. So yes. if you know what you're supposed to take in per day, and if you take it and stick to that and still be active, yes. then you don't have issues with your stomach protein. Okay, so but now for benefit of people at home, I know I've read, I've read from some um, online blogs that say that to lose weight, you have to take less of the calories that you're supposed to take per day. Now, does, is that true? Oh, yes, that's true. That's actually true. Yes. So okay. if, that, if you want to lose weight, that's been, that means you are already obese, you're already on the fat side. Okay. So you have to take less of what you're supposed to take. Yeah. It's, it's actually a huge calculation. Yes. It's an equation to get that okay. when you check the person's um, activity level, like mm -hmm. I said before, your activity level, your weight and your height. Yeah. You check okay. and put all that things into consideration, like yeah. your age and mm -hmm. your sex and all that. Now, but for people at home who are watching and they're just like, okay, now I cannot start calculating my BMI and that. What, what should I eat? What should I not eat? You see people selling slim teas online, saying, oh, you can lose tummy fat in seven days. Are you saying that they shouldn't buy those teas? Are you saying that they can't lose tummy fat in seven days? Well, what are you saying? Okay, uh, you, you can actually lose tummy fat in seven days. You can lose it in two days by drinking slim tea. The, the, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the catch about the slim teas is this. There's something, there's a, there's a substance that's called senna. It's used for projectives. So okay. if you take slim teas, you just know that you are going to use the toilet as your safe haven. <laughs> so yeah, you're just going, you're still going to stay in the toilet. What it does, it helps people um, purge. It causes, it okay. induces diarrhea on whosoever is using it. Ask okay. anybody that uses slim teas. So does it, does it um, reduce the fat in the, the second? Uh, when, you are, when you are purging, you are losing calories. Oh, okay. It's, it's just normal. When you're purging, you're losing calories. You can stay purged. You can purge for so long and you lose calories. And obviously, you're going to lose weight. So okay. on the long run, you're going to lose weight. But while you are losing weight, you're also losing some very important electrolytes. Hmm. 
that helps to keep your body balanced. Okay. So while you're doing that, you're also losing weight, you're losing important electrolytes. So that was why I said from the beginning, it's, it's actually a stubborn thing, but you have to just be consistent and tell yourself that this is what I want to do. Okay. You didn't, I always say you didn't gain that fat in three, four months, so why, or three days or seven days. So why do you want to treat <laughs> well, it? Well, you can just wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm to my fat today. <laughs> okay, now just to help our viewers, okay. what is a go-to, what is a go-to breakfast, lunch, and dinner that you can do in how, in what kind of portions to help lose belly fat? Mm, oh, like, I said, like I said, like I said before, it's yeah. actually individualized. It's not individual. a general thing. Oh, okay. It's individualized. Okay, for example, a 75 kilo, um, um, kg man should be on about 1,800 kilocalories to 2,000 kilocalories. Oh, wow. So, yes, yeah, so we do, most of what we do as dietitians, what we do that, we do, the, we do those things uh, with measuring cups or with kitchen scale, Scales, or we tell okay. you to use your fist, fist. and your palm, yes. Okay. So, like a palm of this, mm -hmm. maybe you want to take swallow, just a palm of this is okay, oh, okay. with bulky vegetables like that or a palm of this for your yam or a finger of banana or something like that so okay. most times we just use a palm of fist or yeah. to show people if they can't be a because there's anybody that wants to start using it measuring, measuring cup cup. for going out in the morning okay. so you can just look at it and know there's something called intuitive eating yeah yeah so you just intelligently eat you already know this is the size of the goose. And most of what, what the problem is... Okay. You know what? We're going to have to let people contact mm -hmm. you directly for more information. You can reach him on social media, on Instagram, at Uncle, Uncle Dietitian. Dietitian. So yes. if you want to know how you can lose weight, lose belly fat, Uncle Dietitian on Instagram is definitely going to help you with that. But